In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create an animated growing flower in After Effects using Taper Shape Strokes. Hi, my name is Manuel, I'm a freelance motion designer. To follow along you might want to download the project file. First we want to create, um, as quickly as possible, all parts of the flower, starting with the stem. We grab the pen tool, click on fill up here and make it invisible and set the stroke width to around 100 pixels. Let's choose a dark green for the stroke color. Then we draw the stem from below the screen up to maybe here. And use the Convert Vertex tool to drag the handles a little to smooth the curves. By the way, let's name the layer stem. Now let's open all the attributes here and in version 17.1 of After Effects there's new stuff inside the stroke properties, taper and waves. Let's go into taper and set the end length to 100, which slims the stroke from the top nicely. And let's add a little end width. Now we want to add some light and shadow to make it a bit more interesting. Let's right click on the layer, go to layer styles and choose bevel and emboss. Let's go into that property here and change the settings. We don't need to touch the blending options, but the bevel and emboss settings. Style, inner bevel, technique smooth, depth 100, direction up, size, let's say 20, maximize soften to 16. We don't use global light. Then let's set the angle to around 135 degrees. The altitude maybe to 16 degrees. Let's choose a nice cyan highlight color. For the shadow color, maybe a dark blue purple. That's just the settings I figured out for myself. Play around until you like it. Now let's duplicate the layer, name it leaf and create a, well, a leaf out of it. Therefore we adjust the path, let the leaf grow to the right. And let's change the stroke color to a different green. And adjust the highlight color in the bell and the bus settings. Let's increase the size and change to the shadow color. Now there's some contrast to the stem. You need to take care that the end part of the path, which is looking weird, is hidden below the screen. Let's add a little detail line to the leaf. Therefore duplicate the layer, name it leaf detail and set the stroke width to 4 pixels and let's change the stroke color to a dark purple. We don't need the bevel and emboss settings for a slim line, so we simply delete them. Finally, let's link the path of the leaf detail layer to the path of the leaf layer below, which will help us to animate the leaf later. Awesome! One leaf done, next. Of course, a <laughs> second one. Let's duplicate the two layers and move them below the stem. Check the path links, because now we only need to adjust the leaf stroke and the linked stroke changes automatically. Then we go into the bevel and emboss settings and change the angle and altitude to have the shade on the bottom and the light on the top. Finally, let's create the flower head or pollen or whatever it's called. First, let's grab the ellipse tool and create a round shape. Then we choose a nice yellow fill color. We use the anchor point tool to center the anchor point and if you hold down command while moving it, it will snap. Then we position the shape right on the top of the stem. Get rid of the stroke. Let's name the layer flower. Then we go to layer styles and add bevel and emboss and change the settings. Inner bevel, smooth, size around 20, soften around 4, angle 120 degrees, altitude 30 degrees, highlight color white, Let's make the shadow color orange. Finally, let's add the petals. We create another shape layer, name it petals and move it below the flower layer.
Then we use the pen tool to draw a path from the inside outwards. No fill, white stroke, width around 55 pixels. Then we copy the path inside the shape and repeat that until we have 9 paths spread around the yellow circle. As they are inside the same shape, the taper settings affect all of them. And length around 45% and ease 60%. Then we add bevel and emboss again. Change the shadow color into, well, yeah, pinkish color. Size 34, soften 16, angle 130. Let's reduce the size a little though. Yay, that's our flower. Let's animate this beauty. Starting with the stem. Let's add my favorite animator, Trim Paths. Set a keyframe for the end value at 12 frames. Then move to the beginning and set it to zero. And add easies into both keyframes. Next, let's animate the path for a bit of secondary motion. Set a keyframe at 24 frames to log in the end shape, then move to the beginning and adjust the path. Actually, I think red is better for you guys to see on the blue background. With both keyframes selected, we open the graph editor and make sure the snap icon is activated and edit speed graph is selected. We move the right point down and drag the handle towards the middle to get this nice speed curve. Quickly speeding up, then slowing down. Next, leaf 1. We add trim paths to both layers, leaf 1 and leaf 1 detail. Then link the end value of the leaf detail layer to the end value of the leaf layer. Add a keyframe for the end value at 3 frames and set it to 0. Then after 15 frames we set it to 100. And add easy ease into both keyframes. Then move to 28 frames, set a keyframe for the path, then go to the beginning and adjust it. I'll change the color to red again. And remember, because we linked the leaf detail path to this one, it changes automatically. Again, we open the graph editor and adjust the speed curve. Now we do exactly the same again for the second leaf. I've moved the keyframes around a little to have a slightly different timing on the second leaf. Next we need to link the petals to the flower. Go into the stem layer and select the path. Then we open window here in the top menu and select create nulls from paths. Then this window appears and we select trace path, which creates a null object in our timeline. This null object moves along our stem path. We want it to move along the path exactly with the growing top of our stem, meaning the end value of our trim path animator. So we delete these progress keyframes and link this attribute to the end value of the stem. Now we simply need to link the flower to the null object. 
Awesome, right? Now let's scale up the inside of the flower while it moves up. Set a keyframe for zero scale at 8 frames. Then move to 24 frames and set it back to 100. Let's add Easy Ease In. Mm, maybe too late. I think we need to work on the timing a little. Awesome. Finally, the pedals. We add trim paths to the shape and set a keyframe for the end value at 10 frames, set it to zero. Then move to 22 frames and set the value to 100. Let's quickly adjust the speed curve. One last thing guys. For some secondary motion, let's animate the paths. Set a keyframe for each path at 10 frames, press U to only see the keyframes, then move to 30 frames and slightly change them. And let's add easies into all the keyframes. That's it for me, it's your turn now, you crazy digital gardeners. On the left side I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching, hope that tutorial was useful for you all. See you next time guys, bye!